I believed it so much that I went as far as making a video before I actually achieved it. Oh, 115. Oh, don't look up on me. 115, 2018, the 1st of January. So, actually, I don't really feel secure because I'm in Peckham with a camera and the BM. What is happening, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Steven and I'm a corporate professional working in the financial services industry and I talk corporate careers, personal finance, productivity and all things in between. Today is a different day. I'm not really talking about my typical content. I'm going to be talking about education and I guess you can consider that the all things in between. But yes, yeah, the 1st of January 2021 and I decided to make this video because on this date, exactly two years ago, I was making a video in my car talking about how I was going to get a first in banking and finance and it's mad because at the time, I wasn't actually making any YouTube videos, but I guess I've always had YouTube in me, hence why I was making random videos at stupid times of the night. Quick disclaimer, obviously this video I'm going to be talking about how I managed to get a first in banking and finance and things that you could do to essentially, you know, get a first as well. However, it's just important to note that at the end of the day, grades don't really matter like you know the fact that you're in university in itself and you manage to you know get in is impressive um just make sure that you stick to it stick it out and finish strong that's what she said anyways i'm making this video for a few reasons and firstly because throughout my educational journey i've never really been like you know super super smart i've just always been above average and you know with that being said, then that means anyone can do this. Secondly, it's just regular regular tips that you can practice, like it's nothing special. So with that being said, again, anyone can do this. And thirdly, content, let's go. So cool, your boy managed to secure first class in banking and finance and also made headlines in the process. We're gonna talk about the headline stuff later. One thing that I would actually say is that this video is applicable to all uni students, no matter what stage, no matter what year you're in. And the reason I'm making this video at this time is because I set the goal of getting that first this time <laughs> when I was graduating in my final year. The one thing that I want people to just take from this video is <laughs> how to finish strong. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, let's get into tip number one. Lecturers were my best friends. Like, and I'm not gonna lie, like I missed lectures like ever so much. Like I missed 9 a.m.s all the time but you know like who doesn't miss 9am's but one thing I was good at was I had genuine relationships with all my lecturers like I was super cool with them on an actual friend level like I visited most of my lecturers like frequently and it was just important to sort of cultivate a genuine relationship with lecturers because then it made it easier to sort of talk about academics and the one thing that I always did was I always discussed my assignments to ascertain if I was on the right track um, and essentially just be a teacher's pet. Now, some people may look at this and be like, nah, that's a wash, like, you know, I'm not talking to no lecturer. And I would call those people silly because while I was getting my nine grand's worth, which is actually like probably nine grand 250 now, some people were out here, you know, spending their student finance on drip for girls in the library, only for both of them to, you know, end up withdrawing from uni and getting kicked out. In all seriousness, like I had such a genuine relationship with my lecturer that my head of year actually called me before the results came out um, to tell me that I got a first. So, unless you were super cool like me, lecturers weren't really fond of reading assignment drafts or talking about assignments outside of lectures. And I feel like that's where using essay review services would come in. And me personally, I've never had to use this because, you know, I was just naturally a teacher's pet. Um, but I'll definitely say like, you know, if your uni has that resource, then I would use it to my advantage, especially just to make sure that, you know, my essay is on the right track and um, sort of like use it to see how you can improve your essays, you know, like you pay nine grand worth of <laughs> tuition, like try to get the best out of it and just maximize as much as you can on that front. So I would say get a job locally and ideally an easy role where you can do your uni work at the same time. So when I was in uni for the best part, I was always traveling back and forth to London on the weekends to work. And in hindsight, this actually had a, an effect on my grades because I only got a high 2-1 um, when I was in second year of university. In third year, I managed to get a job as a fitness instructor for the university gym and there was barely any footfall in that gym. So with that being said, I always had time to just sort of like do my work during the downtimes. I feel like this had a dramatic impact on my grades because overall in my modules in third year, I managed to get a first, um, which led to me sort of getting a first overall. Jobs that I would recommend that you should probably go for while you're in uni 
betting shops, residential assistant roles at uni, security roles, student ambassador roles, library assistant, just stuff along those lines. There's a saying that you're the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. Throughout first year and half of second year, I was kind of just winging my way through university, I can't lie. Like I was living the typical, you know, Midlands uni boy experience, you know, party, girls, and yeah, that was just sort of my life, just sort of going through the motion. But when I set the goal of getting a first, I reevaluated the people that I was constantly around and actively started to make myself scarce to avoid distractions and just really focus on work hard on this goal. In third year, people would literally see me and be like, Right, a long time, like, you know, like, where have you been? I was out of sight. All I did was go to uni. And when I was in uni, I was in and out. So it was just uni, <laughs> gym, work, and yeah, repeat. That's literally all I was doing. And one thing I also started doing as well is I was leveraging the knowledge of the top performers in my class and hanging around with them more often. And um, it really started to rub off on me. Towards the end of second year, I was achieving top marks. And in third year, throughout my third year of university, like literally top marks all throughout, hang around people that will sort of push you um, towards achieving that goal. So my my faith is something that I've struggled with over the years and honestly it's because the streets literally won't leave me alone. The streets. In all seriousness, like um, I really prayed hard for this, um, for achieving this first class. Like every single day, I would literally just always pray, pray, pray. I grew up in an African Christian household and if you want something, prayer is always the go-to. So it was sort of a natural cause of action and it was something that I did frequently. On that note, I would say just, you know, tap into your belief tap into any faiths and just you know sort of <laughs> pray for what you want i know like along those lines like people really believe in affirmations as well and you know if you're on some sort of spiritual journey i'll just you know say tap into that side of things and just you know leverage it as much as you can the last tip um, which I feel like is probably the most important is speaking things into existence. And I know this sounds like really wishy-washy. It's not even an affirmation thing. I'm just naturally the kind of person that usually I tell my goals, my future plans, ambitions, I tell it to everyone. And you know, some people may advise against this because of evil eye and you know, making other people jealous or making people feel some type of way. I honestly could care less. At the end of the day, what I believe is that what's meant to be will be and this is how I approach all my goals. I remember vividly um, when I actually set this goal of getting a first. It was when my friend Miles graduated with a first class um, in economics and he was the year ahead of me and it motivated me so much like literally and that day I made a mental note I was like yep like I'm trying to get this first. After that day, I literally told my friends, I'll tell my mum, I'll, I'll talk to my lecturers about it, like, you know, co-workers, like literally anyone I spoke to. I wasn't, I wasn't really being annoying about it or, you know, being obnoxious about it. Um, I'd sort of just, you know, bring it up organically in a conversation. Yo, bro, like, what are you saying, man? Like, how you been, fam? Like, yeah, like, man, it's just been here, like, doing my uni work still, like, tonight. My guy is literally going to be lit. Like, bro, you should totally pull up, fam. Like, man's gonna get a first, like, bro. Like, literally, like, all day, like, fam. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, like, secure this first, like, bro. Like, honestly, like, listen. Yeah, no, man, the space, bro. 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 That first class, all through, nah, through nah, fam. Nah. Like, no story. Fam, don't care. I don't care, fam. I don't care if you wanna get a first, bro. Huh? Bro, like, you don't need to shout for, fam. Like, well, I was just trying to say, I was trying to secure my first, bro. Like, fam, like, yeah, like, I'll see if I can come to a party, bro. Like. <laughs> now, I'm not really big on the whole universe and law of attraction thing, because quite frankly, I think that's just really wishy-washy. And that's not really where I'm trying to go with this. What I'm big on is, you know, mindset and just psychology. And it's something I'm sort of getting into a lot more um, through just reading. Telling everybody about this goal and just broadcasting it did a few things. Some good, and if I'm being honest, some bad. So if we start with the negatives, I put so much pressure on myself um, through telling everyone and projected this whole imaginary external expectation, which honestly affected my mental health throughout third year of uni. And it's something that I struggled with. I guess I just dealt with that any way a uh, black male would deal with that, doing it on your own and not really telling anyone. However, what I found interesting and took as a positive was through telling everyone, I started to believe I was going to get first. Like, I got to the point where I didn't think any other grade existed. Like, I honestly did not. 
and I only pictured myself graduating with a first class degree. I visualized every moment of what it would be like. You know, it became so vivid day after day from like receiving the news to my reaction, my graduation day, <laughs> my Instagram caption, my family's reaction. I believed it so much that I went as far as making a video before I actually achieved it. Oh, 115. Oh, don't look up on me. 115. 2018, the 1st of January. So, actually, I don't really feel secure because I'm in Peckham with a camera and the BM. But yeah, so 2018, 1st of January. And I'm a bit screwed to be honest. Like, this video, like, I'm making it, and um, the whole purpose is my goal for 2018 is to get a first class degree in banking and financial planning. Yeah? That is my whole goal, that is what I want to do. And then I did. What is happening people? If you made it to the end of the video, please drop a gang in the comment section and hit the thumbs up button so the YouTube algorithm can respect this fire content. If this video hits one like, just one like guys, I'll drop a video on how I secured multiple grant offers coming out of university and um, how I made the headlines of the process. If you like this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Turn on post notes so you don't miss a thing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.